Hello everyone, and today I'm excited to introduce you to the Blix Vika Plus Folding Electric Bike. I had a chance to try it out, and here is what I really like about it, and what could use some improvement. Hopefully, this will help you out on your search for the perfect e-bike. One of the coolest things about the Blix Vika Plus Flex is right there in the name. This thing folds in 20 seconds. Living in the city, being able to fold your bike is a game changer. Navigating crowded subway cars, fitting it in the back of a taxi, storing it in my tiny apartment. This thing has been a lifesaver. I put this thing to the test. Um, first impressions, this bike is solid. Sturdy construction, quality material. It feels built to last. The sleek modern design turns heads and gives you confidence when riding. Riding it around town, I've received several compliments on its appearance. The Blix Vika Plus's flex is made for the city. Zipping through traffic, weaving through crowded streets, this thing handles like a dream. The 500W motor provides ample power, responsive brakes, smooth acceleration, and a comfortable ride. The range on this bike is, you know, is impressive. On a single charge, I got around 40 miles, more than enough for my daily commute and weekend adventures. One of my all-time favorite things about this bike is the pay option. Pay later by now is my thing. E-bikes aren't cheap, and the Blix Vika Plus Flex is no exception. This makes the bike way more accessible. The Vika has large 20-inch wheels with cushy tires that allows you to ride comfortably and safely on different types of roads. The seat is surprisingly comfortable, even on longer rides. It glides over cobblestone streets and potholes, providing a smooth, enjoyable ride. The low step-through frame makes it super easy to hop on and off the bike. No more awkward leg swings or near misses with traffic. The low step frame with only 16 inch step over height allows tall and shorter riders to easily jump on and off the bike whenever needed. Let's talk about the throttle. It's perfect for those moments when you need a little extra boost, like starting from a dead stop or tackling a steep hill. Use the throttle to ride without pedaling at all, and it integrates seamlessly with the pedal assist, so you can use it as much or as little as you like. The Blix comes with fenders, front and rear lights, and a rear rack right out of the box. These included accessories add to the overall value and convenience of the bike. Other bike companies usually charge extra. It's the little things that make a big difference. This thing isn't exactly a featherweight, coming in at around 50 pounds. Lugging it upstairs or onto a crowded subway can be a workout. Folks with smaller builds might find it a pain to lift around. Uh, the one thing this bike is missing is suspension. It would be nice to have, especially on rough city streets. On rough terrain, the ride can feel a bit jarring. Adding some form of suspension could significantly enhance the comfort level. But the large tires and comfortable saddle do a good job of absorbing most bumps. The display on the Blix Vika Plus Flex is straightforward and easy to use. It shows essential information like speed, distance, battery life, and assist level. However, it could benefit from being a bit larger and more intuitive. Sometimes I find it hard to read under direct sunlight. The Blix Vika Plus is an investment. While I believe it's worth every penny given its features and performance, the price point might be a bit steep for some. However, considering the quality and the benefits it offers, I personally think it's justified. After putting the Blix Vika Plus Flex through its paces, I'm impressed. It's a well-designed, well-built e-bike perfect for navigating the urban jungle. The pros outweigh the cons if you're looking for a reliable, fun, and practical way to get around the city. For more details on the, this e-bike, click the link in the description. Also, be sure to watch the next video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit that bell.